Hi folks, how are we going? I thought I'd come out and check out the orchard. Believe it or not, I haven't been out here for about three weeks. Probably about three weeks. We've had it, the, the lawns mowed and you can see the grass is already growing back or the weeds are growing back over the compost. But I just wanted to have a look and see what's going on with all the rain we had. If you don't live in Victoria, well folks, in the last two or three days, we've probably had about 60 or 70 mil at least at least I'd say more than that over the three days, but in, in the last day and a half, it's about 60 mil, which is a fair whack for this time of the year because it's summer. And look at me, I'm dressed in winter clothes. I've got my gumboots on because it's so wet. And we've had, um, we've had some wet spots, where, uh, areas where the trees are sitting in water, especially down there. And I haven't walked out there yet. We just only started to come out here to have a quick look around. The trees are bouncing out of the ground, regardless of the crazy weather we've had. They're all doing really well. These are only a year old, a year and a half, not even, a year and three months. So they were only little sticks, and some of them are probably still little sticks. But most of them have really put on a lot of growth. And these, well, these olive trees have. Now, these aren't a year and a half old, but these were in pots. And they were struggling. Honestly, they were struggling. They weren't growing out the roots because they were so entangled. But they're doing well. There's a lot of fruit on them. Let's go over here. This is where the olive trees were sitting literally in water. They were like, I dug a hole and you could see the water just pulling around them. Now, I don't think that's happening that anymore. Even though we've had some heavy rains, it's, it's actually not too bad, it's dry. You can see over there, it has been pretty dry. So the rain's been welcomed here. And they've put on their growth. So the prune I've given them back, the first time I gave them a prune, they've already multiplied everywhere that I've pruned them. They're gonna need another prune. So these ones I'm gonna constantly prune. I don't want any fruit off these. I don't want to see any olives yet. There's a couple there. So I'm going to be constantly pruning these down to keep them small. I only want them to grow about five and a half, six foot high and about three and a half metres round. I want them nice and wide. And they'll always put on lots of growth on top, so they're going to be getting a heavy prune all the time. But I see lots of apples and pears and quinces over there. Loaded young trees. And I did say that if you leave your fruit on your trees, your trees aren't going to grow fast. Well, I don't want them to grow fast. That's why I left them on. If you're looking to grow a big tree, Take the fruit off, make the tree grow. Loads of apples, <laughs> loads of weeds. <laughs> I'm not using any herbicides, as you can tell, folks. So, yeah, I'm going to lose this battle. I think I've already lost it. I've got the, I've got cooch growing all over it here, and other weeds on top. I'm going to widen these garden beds. So, stay tuned because in the next week or two weeks, we're going to start pruning these uh, fruit trees. We're going to harvest and prune as we want to. Some of the earlier ones. Not all of them, but even some that don't have any fruit, we're going to bring them down. So we're going to do some summer pruning. If you want to keep your trees down or even try and bring a tree down, we're going to go through those stages with all these trees. And there's so many different shapes and sizes here to work with. And the aim is to really get them down and open up the centers on them and get lots of fruit. <laughs> That's fantastic. I know they're small, but like I said, bite size. If you, if you want to eat one more, just grab one. You don't have to try and eat one big apple. You can eat two little ones. And it's a beautiful way to do it, if you ask me. That's my choice. I'm not selling these apples. I'm enjoying it with the family and friends and lots of black grit. That's what makes them fruit like that. So get your fertilizers in the ground, get your secateurs nice and clean and sharp and stay tuned for some summer pruning of fruit trees. In the meantime, check out our website, vasellisgarden.com. Marisi.